hey, I don't want to waste your time. I just quickly want to introduce myself. I'm Felipe the Barber and welcome to my channel where I teach you my approach to barbering. If you feel like you got a lot of value out of this video, consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Felipe.TheBarber. Without further ado, let's get to the haircut. All right, so this is going to be a mid half fade comb over with a hard part. So to begin a haircut, I'm gonna slightly wet the hair and I'm gonna just clip the hair so it doesn't um, hang on the side, okay? I'm gonna take my, this is actually a Amazon $35 clipper. Forgot the name of it, but honestly, I actually really enjoy it. Anyways, we're doing, I'm doing a half mid fade. So I'm gonna open the lever and set that guideline. That initial guideline is gonna be a half guideline. And I'm gonna set that directly in the middle of the head, the sides and back, and I'm gonna slightly dip it down towards the back. Now, once I have that bottom guideline, I'm gonna set a top guideline. This is with a one and a half. Remember, I'm, I'm keeping this haircut super, super tight on the sides. And when that's the case, I like to use my Oster Octane Clipper with a one and a half detachable blade, okay? Once I have the top and the bottom guideline, now it's just a matter of blending the half into the one and a half, which is with a number one guard. I'm gonna use a number one guard, and then uh, I know that the number one guard isn't going to completely erase that line, so I take the half guard soon after. I'm gonna open it slightly and then just smooth out that blend, okay? That is super simple. This fade is probably the simplest fade you can possibly do because blending from a half up to a number one and a half is... Hey, if you're struggling with your fade, if you're taking too long, not consistent, and can't repeat the same fade over and over again, it's probably because you don't have a system. I'm not here to sell you. I'm simply going to present the opportunity to you to learn my three-step fade system through a course I've put together. So click on the link in the description below to find out more. very easy it's very easy so now I'm gonna start doing the clipper over comb okay this is very important I want to keep a squared shape so I gotta keep that comb 90 degrees okay and make sure that that hair right there is completely going uh, completely straight so it's going up straight up in the air okay I don't want to follow the contour of the head I don't want to follow any shape I want that to be nice in a straight line. So I got the fade done. I got the sides, uh, the, the 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 midsection completely uh, blended and done. Uh, I'm setting the hard part with the machine first, and then I'll start cutting the top of the hair. This is super, super easy. This haircut looks super clean, but honestly, uh, it takes me about 20 minutes to do this haircut. So. Uh, my typical way of cutting the top, uh, I usually start from the front to back, and then if I need to, I'll start cross-checking from side to side. Now, obviously this, this client is Asian, super, super thick, straight hair. You have to be careful with the calic. Do not cut the calic too short, okay? Otherwise, the calic will stand up and will become an issue for the client. So, length is gone. And now I'm gonna start doing a little bit of styling for the client. Just blow dry the hair um, into the style that the client will, you know, wear the hair. And then once the hair is dry, I start cross-checking um, to make sure that everything's sitting right. And then I apply a little bit of product. Um, this is a matte pomade from Blue Men. And there it is. This is the haircut. Super easy and simple. Uh, easier said than done, but once you get the hang of it, you should be able to get this haircut done in no, no time.
Thank you for watching. If you got to this point of the video, I know for a fact you got a lot of value. And the way you can support is by subscribing to this channel and following me on Instagram and TikTok. Stay safe.